Excel's factory has 250,000 square feet of space dedicated to making sleeping bags. There are three cells or lines within the factory that when combined pump out an average of 7,000 bags a day. That's a yearly average of about 2 million. The bag creation process starts with the filling. Fiber is sent to the factory and kept in the storage area. When it's ready to be used, workers, called hogmen, bring in the bales of fiber to the first machine in the assembly line, the hopper. After the fiber is loaded into the hopper, the machines get to work, breaking up the filling so that the three separate fibers can be combined as one. Once mixed, the fiber is then laid out into sheets on what's called the garnet hopper. These sheets become the fill that insulates the sleeping bag and is stuffed into the shells. Once the shells are stuffed, they're ready to be quilted. This process ensures that the fill within the shell is locked into place and won't shift around once the bag is in use. It's an easy enough job that they'll let anyone try it. Excel has put a lot of effort into making sure as much of their scrap material as possible is recycled. Leftover pieces are gathered up and placed by the baler to be compacted and recycled for further use, ensuring an even greater standard of efficiency. Back on the line, the sleeping bags are once again on the move down the conveyor belts. At this point in the process, the conveyor belts start to do a fair amount of work themselves. From here on out, the bags are constantly shuffled, and flipped, and turned, as they travel down the belts. This is so that the sergers who work on the line sewing the zippers are ensured that the bag is properly lined up for them with the correct side needed to be sewn. This level of automation makes sure that not only things run as smoothly as possible, but also that the maximum amount of bags can be produced in a day's time. Construction of the bag is finally complete, and the conveyor belts move the bag to their last stop before they are packaged, the inspector. For 7,000 bags to be made each day, everyone has to be on their A-game at all times, including the people who work on quality control. Now the bag is ready to be packaged. Machines fold the bag in half and prepare it to be rolled. Once the bag is finally wrapped up into its final shape, workers stuff the bag into its storage sack. All the sacks are kept by the stuffers and are color coordinated with the sleeping bags.
Now the bags are at the end of the production line and are finally complete. All three cells converge at the same place as the bags are thrown on the last conveyor belt and sent to be packaged. They are then boxed, then sealed up, loaded onto pallets, and moved back into the storage area to await shipping. This of course is all done under the supervision of Josh, Excel's honorary production manager for the day. Back in the storage area is where the bags will wait, but not for long. Soon they will be loaded onto trucks from the very stores that will sell them. Over in the offices, Excel has an excellent staff hard at work handling all the orders that come in, along with a few other tasks. Even Josh is doing some last minute work as our day at America's only major sleeping bag manufacturer, Excel Outdoors, comes to a close. And that is how a sleeping bag is made.